I am going to be doing celebrity impressions for you today. And yes, that was Mr. Beast. So first up is uh, James Charles. And by the way, just before I do all this, not staying my position on whether I actually like these people or not, because I like some of these, I don't like some of these people. You know what I mean? It's just out of pure, so then you can, I can see how well I react and how well you think I impress them. So first of all, it's James Charles. <clears throat> Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So right here we have this wonderful cube. How do you like it? And uh, it's not a microphone so I can't sing my interesting music into it like Bring me little water now. Or anything like that. Alright, that was number one, James Charles. Number two is Jeffree Star. Alright, this one's going to be interesting. I've been practicing. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? That was Jeffree Star. Uh, third we have is Jake Paul. My name is Jake Paul. I have this trophy and I will smash it on the counter. <laughs> Just, I did not smash it, don't worry. Alright, we can't forget some Cardi P. Hi party people, Tommy Valk here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you liked this last segment and uh, that you like this video too. So, for this week's video, I was bored yesterday and I decided to go and make some bread. Obviously it is not early March, like when we had COVID and lockdown and everything, but eh, I have a bread maker and heck, I still think it's cool even after having baked so much bread in, uh, over the spring and stuff, because uh, everything. Yeah, and so, uh, and, uh, also, remember, since this is a Steam channel, in addition to this baking stuff, which somehow falls in the science technology department a little bit, I mean, if it does, then it's considered Steam, uh, in my opinion, uh, STEM Steam, as I will be doing some, uh, showing you guys how to dribble a drumstick. So without further ado, let's get into this week's video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on all those post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And, uh, let's get, let's hope we get as many subscribers as we can, so that I can, uh, enjoy myself. And thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, fun fact, I do play the drums, as you know, I just had a lesson earlier tonight, because it's Monday the 1st, and, uh, a little while ago, and, uh, I learned this one trick on how to learn how to, like, dribble your drumstick and do a finger exercise. So, uh, here's how it goes. Wanted to make some bread today, so it's what I'm... G today we're making bread, obviously. Uh, first up, obviously, wash hands. done and got the bread machine right here uh, and uh, so we got a good one today we're making some French bread all right so I hope everyone can see this but uh yeah making some French bread right here today so in the bread maker because it's really hard to make bread otherwise so, uh, first thing we need is water. Uh, we're making two pound loaves, so that will be one and a half cups of water plus a tablespoon. And then, yeah, 
Yeah, that's definitely the amount. We need probably a little more than we need, actually. All right, then. Got to heat it up in the microwave. So then it's like 80 degrees, I don't know, something like that. Wanted to make some bread today, so that's what I'm... Wanted to make some bread today, so that's what I'm... So yeah, I have to heat that water up for... For about, uh, maybe let's give it a few minutes. I'm giving it two minutes, we'll just see how hot it gets by then. And then among other things, we're going to need some other butter, flour, sugar, salt, and yeast. Fires November 2020. I know it's January, but still, it's pretty good usually. So, from what I've learned, so as long as it keeps refrigerated. Yeah, because yeast is like a weird thing. I don't know. It just helps to ru make it rise with the sugars or something, or and then the hot water does something else with it. And so, uh, yeah. And. Uh, so we need four and a quarter cups of flour, so I'm going to do get that. Hey, hey, Polly, cut it out. No. Come on, Polly, no barking. I know you like other dogs, but cut it out. Yeah, um, let's get along with this three. I'm gonna add cup four. This thing is practically almost empty. Uh, Like always, I got. I hope I have enough. Otherwise, I can add a little bit more, which is what I'm probably just gonna do. I've had two cups in here, so I'm gonna have to remember that. Uh, if you prang, yes, I think we do. Hopefully, have another flower in here. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. But we do have it. Bob's Red Mill Unbleached White All-Purpose Flower. So, let's do this. We'll reload it and we'll come back in a second. And don't forget, if you want any more of these cool music videos, make sure to like this video and uh, DM me on Instagram. Obviously, if you know me, I'll just say to you and that maybe we will have a good time together. Alright. Now here is the first one. So, this is a finger uh, exercise thing. It, it helps me with my drum rolls. If you do drums, this is good for you to know. I uh, hope you can see it good. Uh, I might zoom in a little bit. There we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So how it works is that you have uh, your thumb here, and you have your pointer finger like here. And so you can, and so te we'll call this first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, because there's the thumb. Uh, so first one is you just use the pointer finger to dribble your stick, so these things like not here. Alright, that's one. Then the second finger we'll use, we still need this here for the fulcrum right here. We'll use this as our, like, this type of finger, so it's more like... Alright, that sounds pretty good. Now let's do the uh, third finger, also known as the ring finger. I don't know. Uh, since there's a name for every little little finger, index finger, index finger, middle finger. Uh, thank you, Boston. Uh, ring finger, pinky, uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, so here's third finger. So as you see, it's a bit tricky, of course, when you get to this, but that's the fun of it, so. All 
All right, and that's how you do all this stuff, and uh, how you dribble a drumstick. All right, back to this. Got a fresh, full, very full pot of flour. Um, makes me a little nervous, honestly, but that's what the leveler's for. That's what carefulness is for. The leveler right here, it's just a knife with a flat edge. Okay, the cup with number three. Cup number four. All right, this is done. That's good. The flower, the riskiest part, as I to think of it. And uh, next, we need uh, two teaspoons of salt. So quite the reduction in stuff. All right, gotta get that one last like quarter of a teaspoon. You know it's very exact, but it has to be in order for things to work. Quarter of a teaspoon, perfect. Right here, I'm up. And there we go. That's probably time so I can put it back in here. So here is the completed mix right here. I mean, there's the yeast and the yeast volcano right there. And uh, all the other stuff, water in the bottom, butter, yada, yada. So now we'll put it in here and seal it. So I got it set to the right setting, two for French bread. BDM and then just two pounds so it knows how long to cook it and rise it for. All right, there we go. This thing spends about four hours cooking, so let's put it in here. Yay, everybody. Oh, maybe the other end. Probably, probably the other end. This is here then, right? This way. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Um, uh, and so now, uh, make sure that's not being pinned under by this. There's the bread in there, if you can see. Well, the dough and the yeast. Now we'll press start, set to setting two. I'm like a medium color, which is probably the best for this, and then everything's up. Three, two, one, start. And see? This thing is really helpful, and go cop it from whatever it is, West Bend. No, this is not paid promotion. I only have 25, two, five subscribers, and uh, yeah. Polly, don't do that if I were you. We got this like new end table here, and Polly is trying to sniff over the candle. And that w that's not very smart of you, Polly. You pugs are already not the brightest animals, anyway. <laughs> and here it is, basically. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, there we go. Basically mixes it and then lets it rise and everything. So it's pretty cool, if you had to ask me. And yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up for this segment. And, Probably next time I come back on, the bread will be done. Water's done uh, with its thing, and i uh, got a little guest here. Hello, everybody. Uh, not for you, Polly. Maybe you'll have some when you're done, but no, no. Okay. And anyway, so since I held Polly, I have to wash my hands again as usual. And this is the bread, all done. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Five seconds to do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And I hope you have a great week and see you in the next one. Alright, fun fact, I do play the drums as you know. I just had a lesson earlier tonight because it's Monday the 1st and uh, a little while ago. And uh, I learned this one trick on how to learn how to like dribble your drumstick and do a finger exercise. So uh, here's how it goes. And don't forget if you want any more of these cool music videos, make sure to like this video and uh, DM me on Scrim, obviously if you know me, I'll just say to you and that maybe we will have a good time together. Uh, now here is the first one. So. This is a finger uh, exercise thing. It, it helps me with my drum rolls. If you do drums, this is good for you to know. I uh, hope you can see it good. Uh, I might zoom in a little bit. There we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So how it works is that you have uh, your thumb here, and you have your pointer finger like here. And so you can, and so te we'll call this first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, because there's the thumb. Uh, so first one is you just use the pointer finger to dribble your stick so these things like not here alright that's one then the second finger we'll use, we still need this here for the fulcrum right here we'll use this as our like this type of finger so we, it's more like alright that sounds pretty good now let's do the uh, third finger also known as the ring finger I don't know uh, since there's a name for every little little finger, index finger, index finger, middle finger, uh, thank you Boston, uh, ring finger, pinky, uh, whatever. Uh, anyways, so here's third finger. So as I say, it's a bit tricky, of course, when you get to this, but that's the fun of it, so... Alright, and that's how you do all this stuff, and uh, how you dribble a drumstick.